what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here's the scenario. A guy is riding along on the street with his woman and baby in tow. Police officer pulls him over. Police officer approaches the car. He lets the window down. Police officer tells him, how you doing today? Dude say, how can I help you, officer? The officer says, you can help me by showing me your license and registration. He says, before we get into all of that, I'm gonna need your name and badge number. By the way, I'm recording for my own protection and I need you to identify yourself. Then he asked the officer for his bond claim number. The officer does give him his badge number. And then he continues to say, well, I don't have to show you any ID. The officer is like, hey, don't make this any harder than what it is. Finally, the mother, his woman, interjects. She says, give him the information. I ain't got time for this. We got our baby in the car. Fight for your rights another day. I ain't got time for this. Ain't nobody trying to get shot. Ain't nobody trying to get killed. Then she said, you stupid, you black. Basically let them know, don't be stupid. You see what's going on out here. Now, when I saw a dude talking, I couldn't help, <laughs> I couldn't help but think, dude been watching too many videos online where these people are challenging police officers, these sovereign citizens and other people they're challenging the cops. I don't know if he's only been watching those type of videos. I don't think he's been watching the other videos where the cops are just basically brutalizing, killing black people for the slightest infractions and sometimes for no infraction. Now, this is a touchy situation right here because, you know, you want to protect your rights. You don't want to just give up your rights. But you got to think these type of things through. I do believe that the mama was right on point. Man, we ain't got time for this. Right now, at this moment, we got our baby in the car. She, she actually gave him a little chance to try to work it out. But she could tell that it was going to get a lot worse. So she jumped in and I think saved the day. Dude needs her around because I don't think <laughs> that he can make it on his own. <laughs> that move right there was stupid. I've had situations where I've had my kids in the car before and I wanted to turn up, but instead I chilled because I didn't want to put their lives in danger. It's sad that I, it takes that sometimes, but that's how I was in that situation. I like, I had to fall back because I didn't want something to happen to my kids. Now this dude obviously wasn't thinking along those lines, because anything could have happened. Y'all know how they get out? The mama was right on point. She did the right thing, she said the right thing, and luckily, dude listened. And also, luckily, the cop didn't turn up right away because, you know, they just have no patience when they're dealing with black folks. And let me tell you something else, family. You get more bees with honey than you do vinegar. All I'm saying is that perhaps the police 
officer was profiling. But you're not going to beat the cops in the streets. If you feel that they have somehow traded on your rights, get yourself a lawyer the next day or the same night and you go in and you file the proper paperwork against them. Or you just go and file a grievance. I don't know how much that would help, but at least in most cases, a grievance at least would go on a record. You can have some type of paper trail. You can't beat the police in the streets. So if you feel like they're wrong or whatever, just get through it. Just like their job is to go home, you should be thinking the same thing. Your job is to go home at the end of the night. Remember training day? You want to go to jail or you want to go home? No more talk. What the haters talking about?